Janet Wilbanks. And we welcome you to this Six in the City. After last week's Six in the City where we had a full studio and it was actually overflowing, it's rather quiet in the studio today. But that's not to say that we don't have a whole set of guests, good guests that are going to be on the show today. We have Mandy Henson with WLJT-TV because Ethan Bortnick is coming back. If you didn't get to see him the first time, you need to get tickets to come and see him. He's going to be, at, he's going to be Friday, November the 8th. We're going to hear more about that. And then also, Julie Daniels with the Chamber is coming because, you know, Julie never has anything to talk about because the Chamber's never busy. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. She's going to be talking about Spark. We have JYP and Business After Hours that's coming up in addition to the annual Celebrations Business of the Year Award. So don't miss that. Uh, and then we'll talk with Amanda Leach about the all. She's with Alzheimer's Tennessee this week. And, <laughs> and then we'll also talk with Cherie Parker from Lifeline Blood Services. She's got some, some things going on in November and December. And Regina Smith is here with us because in addition to Amanda Leach, November is National Alzheimer's Awareness Month. So Regina's going to be talking about the mini conference that's coming up and the new Alzheimer's Resource Center. So we're going to hear about a grant that they have received. And then also, Tony Black is here because the Omega Sci-Fi chapter, Theta Iota chapter, is doing their 75th anniversary gala affair. Tony's going to tell us a little bit more about it and, and what's going on. I think it's going to be a whole weekend event. And then who's with us for entertainment today? We have the amazingly talented Tyler Goodson with us today. Thank you, Tyler, for coming to my rescue today. But we, look, <laughs> we look forward to hearing from him today, as, as always. Stay tuned for more Six in the City. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. How did you not love him? The JEA app. With it, you may view the electric outage map, report electric outages, receive electric outage alerts, view your current account information in real time. You can even make a payment with one click. Name, account number, you're in. Convenient access with the free JEA app, keeping you connected with JEA today. Experience something new with View It Video On Demand. Now you can preview and rent movies with your remote. Press the TiVo button to go to the home screen. Select View It On Demand to get started. Browse new movie releases and events. Select what you want to watch, then rent. There's even free stuff. You'll find karaoke songs, fun screensaver for your TV, videos for the kids, and more. Experience more with TiVo and View It Video On Demand. Welcome back to Six in the City. We have Mandy Henson with us. She's just down the road with WLJT. Mandy, thanks for coming to see us. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. You've been with us quite a bit, and we're excited because Ethan Bortnick is coming back. He is. We are so excited to have Ethan. This is his fourth time in West Tennessee. Um, he's been here twice in Jackson, and he was in Paris once, and we just love them so much. They're so much fun, good fun for the entire family. And Ethan will be here. He's coming to the NED. That's it's going right. to be live. So it's a live concert Friday, November the 8th at 7 p.m. You can get VIP reserve seating for $45, two for 80. And that includes the meet and greet where you can actually go and you can actually talk to, to Ethan. Himself. Yes, he loves meeting, meeting the fans. Like he loves taking pictures and he, he's so sweet. He seems very personable. We got, uh, we actually went to uh, see him a couple of years ago when he yes. was here in Jackson with mom. We gave my mom tickets for her yes. birthday and she just thought it was the best thing ever. So I, I thought he was so talented, so incredibly talented. Um, he is. He does this really cool thing I bet you remember where he has somebody in the audience come up and play like a random ringtone 
which is a lot easier now since we have so many ringtones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like not like a song or anything that you've heard a bunch of times. And then he plays the ringtone on the piano and makes up a song about like it was a girl the last time, makes up a song with the girl's name in it to the ringtone and makes like this huge song out of it. Like he is just amazingly talented. He did do that and it was, I mean, it was impromptu. So it wasn't yes. like anything that was scripted or no. anything. I mean, she just walked up and she played some random ding, ding, ding. Wasn't even a full, you yeah. know, ringtone. Mm -hmm. And he sat there for a minute and you could see the wheels turning in his head and he just started playing and it was beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, he's very talented. He plays by ear, and so which is why that is possible to do. I don't understand that kind of talent. I, I don't it's either. incredible. <laughs> I don't have any of that, any kind so, of musical so talent like that. If you're watching the show live today, today's November the 5th, that is this Friday that he will be at the NED. Right? That's right, this Friday. So we need to get our tickets. Absolutely, and you can get the tickets by calling the TV station. Um, and I'll probably talk to you, 1-800-366-9558. Um, you can buy tickets at the door. Okay. So there are tickets available for at the door. And we're super excited that the choir from Jackson Christian School is going to be there. Their ninth through 12th grade choir is going to be singing four songs with Ethan. So we're super excited that we get to extend that kind of opportunity to different children, different students in the area. Um, every time he's come, he's had a local choir, and it's really neat. So that'll be a, a unique opportunity for the, for the choir to be able to sing with him. So yes. That like, should be interesting to see. He's amazing. Like, he's the youngest person in the Guinness Book World of Records to have a solo world tour. Like, Ethan has been everywhere because he is so talented and he's been in a movie. And he started so young. Super young. Like eight years old, he was on Oprah and Jay Leno and just amazing talent. More wow. Accomplished more in his mere, what, 18 years 18. of life than probably all three of us combined. Yes, and I'm kind of <laughs> excited to see how he's changed from like the first time he's here to now because he's 18 now, so. Yeah. And you know that, and that's, it's funny you say that because that's a good thing to to want to be able to go back. If you've seen him once, yes. it'd be good to go see him again just to see how he's changed and how his, the, the change in his voice, how he manipulates that into his music. Absolutely. Because it, it's much different when he was eight versus yes. when he's 18. Yes. And his talents, I'm sure, have just, he's improved. honed his talents and, yeah. and improved greatly. So what a great opportunity. It's Ethan Bortnick. It's at the net. It's brought to you by WLJT. It's this Friday, November the 8th. It's at 7 o'clock. You need to go ahead and get your tickets. You can call the TV station and talk to Mandy at 1-800-366-9558. Or you can get them at the door. Tickets, we still have VIP reserve seating available for 45 two for 80 And you can meet and greet or general admission is $30. And Mandy, just briefly, tell everybody about WLJT. Oh, we are West Tennessee's public television station, and we are so excited to always partner with you guys. Y'all are such great partners. Um, but we, you know, our mission is to educate, entertain, and inspire all of West Tennessee. And we do that through um, people becoming members of the station and making donations and supporting the station. And if people wanted to become a member, all you have to do is call Mandy at the station, 1-800-366-9558. Mandy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We look forward to the concert and hope everything goes well. Thank Thanks, hon. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. In communities across Tennessee, we feel the effects of opioid addiction. We all know someone touched by addiction. People we see every day, a neighbor, a friend, a family member. Please know there is help and hope. Together we can rise above and make recovery a reality. Neighbors working together. Tennessee together. If you or someone you love needs help for addiction, help is available. Visit TNTogether.com for more information. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. 
For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. Welcome back to Six in the City. We're here with Julie Daniels. Julie is with the Chamber here in downtown Jackson, and there are a bunch of events coming up, but the first thing we want to talk about is the Annual Celebrations Business of the Year Awards that is coming up. Julie, what do we got yeah. going on? Well, that's coming up, of course, next year, but we have to get geared for it ahead of time. That's right. So we need folks to fill out applications, and this is your chance, if you're a Chamber member, to nominate yourself, fill out that application, and we have about seven, well, we have six awards that we give away via the application, and then we have a seventh award that's the Volunteer of the year that actually the chamber picks that person from our volunteers. Um, if you're a chamber member business, um, we have the applications up on our website at jacksontn.com and you go to the chamber site and then just right below membership we'll have a sentence that says, hey, fill out your application here for the awards. So it's easy to get to on the chamber's website and the mm -hmm. um, awards that you're going to be giving out is the 2019 business of the year 1 to 49 mm -hmm. employees, 2019 business of the year 50 plus employees, mm -hmm. Um, 2019 Emerging Business of the Year, 2019 mm -hmm. Industry of the Year, 2019 Nonprofit of the Year, and the 2019 West Tennessee Healthcare Health and Wellness Awards. Mm -hmm. So any businesses correct. out there that want to nominate themselves for mm -hmm. any of these awards can go online, jacksontn.com. Mm -hmm. Fill out the application. How long are nominations being taken? Julie? We're going to be taking these nominations until um, January 10th. Okay. And we get started early because, you know, with the holidays and everything right. coming up, you've got to have that extra time to fill this application out. It's not just a few clicks of a button. It's There's a lot of information involved in filling out is. the application. Mm -hmm. and, and you can start it, and then before you know it, you turn around, and it's like, oh, no, it's January. i got to get this done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so make sure you go online and do that. And then um, the event's actually going to take place on March. In March, I think it's March 12th. March 12th. Yeah, March 12th. It'll be a... Um, a luncheon event again mm -hmm. this luncheon year. Event. Mm -hmm. That seems to have worked out really well. It has. It has for the last few years, definitely. So. Now, now, can you reveal a theme? <laughs> I really don't know. They haven't <laughs> let me in on that. Oh, they no. keep me in the dark. So I, I think they're actually working on that right now. So Well, I'm sure it's going to be day. as <laughs> awesome as always. It's always a fun well, thank time. You. Thank you. Um, tickets will be available. When do tickets go on sale for um, annual celebration? You know, I'm really not sure. Probably sometime after the first of the year. Okay. I would say that we'll definitely have information out as to where you can get your tickets and a okay. link up. So we don't have the link up yet. But the so. important thing is getting those nominations in for the mm -hmm. awards. Get those nominations okay. in. It's, it's pretty neat. We have a beautiful award, you know, that you can put on your, your desk or yeah. in your trophy case. Lots of, so. lots of uh, talking, something to talk about, right? Yes, exactly. And you, can, you can claim that you are one of those awards, mm -hmm. whether it be the Business of the Year Award, mm -hmm. or the Emerging Leader, whatever. Yeah, so what it's a great, a great time. What else have we got going on? Because I know the you chamber is busy all <laughs> the time. We are, and it seems this time of year we get even busier sometimes. So. Right. Um, we've got Spark coming up. That's on November 14th. What day of the week is that? Uh, it's a Thursday. Thursday. Usually that's okay. a Thursday morning. So it's a breakfast event from 745 till um, 9 in the morning. Okay. And uh, we have a few little breakfast treats for you so you can come out and enjoy breakfast. It's free. It's open to everybody. So you don't necessarily have to be a chamber member to come to Spark. Okay. Do you and need to register? You do even need to register. Okay. Yes, I, you do need to register. So okay. we do have a link on our website on the events page, and you can um, find that and just register there. And for those who don't know, what is Spark? It's a way to ignite your business. Basically, um, it's networking. You can learn a little bit. Um, again, have some refreshments. And, and your uh, speaker. Will our be speaker for Spark? this time will be um, Ben Ferguson. Ben so Ferguson. he's talking he's about good. yeah, yeah, personal building. placements. Isn't mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. And co-founder of the Co. That's so. right. That's right. So he's going to talk about building a great team, building a dynamic team culture is actually the topic. So he's going to tell you how you can build the team that will help move your business forward. All right. Sparks okay. on the 14th. Then we mm -hmm. have JYP mm -hmm. on the 21st. JYP's on the 21st. Let me look at my notes just to make sure I don't mess this up. Hey, so. hey we all got to have, 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 have our notes because. <laughs> So, I mean, you know. Yeah, JYP is for Jackson Young Professionals, um, ages 21 to 45. We got a good little group there, um, and it's going to be the mayor. The mayor, Mayor Conger, mayor is going to be speaking. Okay. Yeah, I better you know, define the two. That's <laughs> right. This is two. Thursday the 21st. <laughs> yes, at, yes. We at like Thursdays. Time. Yeah. Yes. It's at 11:30 <laughs> at till 1130. one. It's another lunch event. Okay. okay. So um, you can also register online for that, and uh, there is a cost involved with that. Um, you will have to go to the website and find okay. that out because I'm not exactly sure what that cost Jackson is. I think it's. 
Yeah, jacksontn.com. So there's a member cost and then a non-member cost. So okay. we will take non-members as well, or future members is what we like to refer and to them And then finally, as. Business After Hours is on that same <laughs> mm -hmm. night. It sure is. We like to keep things hopping. That's it. The yeah, it's actually Where's a little it? bit early, so, you know, because of the holidays. Right, right. Where, where is it going to be at? Spring Hill Suites Spring by Marriott. Suites. Okay. Off okay. of Christmasville right, uh, in right. Jackson. So. And that's an event where you can just come and go and, mm -hmm. and network with people and mm -hmm. just have a good time getting out and talking to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Just All from right. 5 to 7. Again, you don't have to be a member. Um, so a lot of our events are open to members and non-members. So. All right. We'll find out more about what's going on in the chamber at jacksontn.com and get registered for these events. Julie, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Appreciate it. We now take it to the main stage where we have the talented Tyler Goodson. Tyler? If I had possession over Judgment Day If I had possession over Judgment Day All the women and children would have no right to Well, now run here, baby, get down on daddy knee. Yeah, now run here, baby, get down on daddy's knee. Won't you tell you all about the way they treated me? Plus Broadband, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. HD video streams with no buffering. Websites load instantly and games never lag. No matter how many devices are connected, experience gigabit internet for less than $57 per month when you bundle TV and phone. Call or click eplusbroadband.com today. Are you ready for all the football, all the time, in a season that never ends? Well, these six planes are ready. This grandpa's ready. The fans are ready. The teams are ready. Are you ready?
today. Good. I'm here to talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I bring the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. Welcome back to Six in the City. A lot was going on during commercial break. I don't know if you noticed or not, but <laughs> Amanda Leach is here with us because November is National Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And you have an event coming up, right? Hey, we do. Thank you so much, ladies, for putting those fun socks on. They uh, are fun. They are. November the 22nd, we're going to do something fun here in West Tennessee is Alzheimer's Sock Out Alzheimer's Day. And so November the 22nd, we encourage everybody to wear some fun socks, these now, purple ones. where can everybody get these socks? You can get them locally here at our office that we just opened in July, July the 1st. We and opened a resource located? office on 38 Old Hickory Cove here in Jackson. We're at Suite B175. Okay. And you can reach us at 694-8065, uh, and I can personally deliver those socks to you. And the socks are how much? They are $8 or 2 for 15. A mere donation oh, of $15 yes. gets you a nice purple pair or you can have the bright orange pair. You know so. we have to have a little bit of a UT in there so. Of course That's we right. do. Of yes, course we, we do. do. So Sock Out Alzheimer's is coming up Friday November the 22nd. What's yes. going to happen? One of the biggest things is, is it brings awareness. You know Alzheimer's is a disease that affects over 110,000 Tennesseans across the state and so this is just a fun way that we can bring awareness raise a little bit of financial support to continue those programs and services, which stays local here in West Tennessee. And just something fun to light up Facebook and social media and things like that. So ladies, that picture is probably going to show up somewhere. So, <laughs> I can't so we promise need, you. <laughs> so it, everybody needs to go get their socks. Yes, One pair for $8, two for 15 Yes. And then take a picture of themselves with the socks on and hashtag it. Right. right? With, what's that the is, hashtag? Well, you can just do A-L-Z-T-N. Or you can do Sock Out Alzheimer's. Sock Out Alzheimer's. That's right. And get on Facebook. Yes, it'll be a fun day. Just, you know, with Alzheimer's, um, it's just one of those things with national be or November being National Awareness Month. It brings a little bit more of an awareness to a cause that is so dear to a lot of families that are battling that every day. And so this so is just works. another fun way just to kind of take it and have a little bit of a smile onto the disease that people right. walk just, through. Just bringing awareness mm -hmm. to That's it exactly is, right. is a, a big thing. And so that should be a great opportunity. So you guys have a new office, you said. We do. Uh, Alzheimer's Tennessee is an organization that is not new. We're about 36 years old, right. but we're new to West Tennessee. Uh, I actually had the privilege of being the regional director on the Cumberland Plateau for 11 and a half years and laughed and said, I married a West Tennessee boy, so it moved me here and uh, <laughs> opened an office July the 1st here in Jackson, but we serve all 21 counties across West Tennessee. And now we're proud to say that we're officially statewide. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. So there's a lot of resources and a lot of opportunities for educational advocacy, uh, law enforcement training, to clergy training. There's just a lot of great resources for families. Well, how do people mm -hmm. uh, get in touch with you? They just go on online and get that information? Well, or? a lot of it is word of mouth, but there okay. is a website. It's ALZ Tennessee, spell out Tennessee.org, and that will link you to all of our um, events and information and everything across the state. Uh, but they can. A lot of it is just word of mouth and education and with local support groups to our community partners we've got a way of of course resource center you're going to hear a little bit more about that this i think in the next the next From segment the right uh, right miss regina right. she is one of our uh, our friends of the association as well and so she's got so something i'm gonna let her talk a little bit about i don't want to steal her steal, little, her, steal thunder. her thunder that's right but uh it's a it's just a, a way that we can get some information out to those people that need that. Absolutely. We can also go to this website to purchase these socks. You correct? can, but if you call our local number, and that number is 694-8065, I can personally deliver them to you. Oh, okay. a personal yes. delivery that's is so right. much better than that's Amazon exactly right. or UPS or something that's like right. that. That's right. We want to make sure that we remind people that we are local. So local is, I can hand them to you. Absolutely. That's, that's right. a wonderful. And also, too, when they come into the office, they can get information, more information about 
Los they Alamo, can. Tennessee. They can. We have got over 40 different publications, anywhere from challenging behaviors to communications to the you know the stages of the disease that we can make sure that we can sit down and do some free one-on-one -on -one count, uh, consultations as well. Because mm -hmm. I had a lady one time call me and she said, "I need you," and I said, "Where are you at?" And she said, "You won't believe it, but I'm in the Kroger. I'm in Kroger <laughs> doing my shopping. I've got two hours of respite." And I literally went there and walked every aisle of Kroger while she shopped and gave her caregiver tips, ways to manage the disease these resources and things like that. So we truly do meet you where you are. That's, wow. that's wonderful service because Alzheimer's not only affects the patient, but it also affects the caregivers and the family as and well. And it does. So. There's a lot of stress that comes with that. And, you know, we always say that sometimes when someone's living into the Alzheimer's or the dementia, they have a different sense of reality than our caregivers do. And those right. caregivers are trying to do the best they can. So we offer support groups, caregiver trainings. We're having a workshop up in Union City on November the 21st. That's going to be a caring and coping workshop to give you some tips of the trade to pull in your toolbox awesome. of how to make sure to take care of those patients. And Wonderful. Families. Well, thank you so much for being here. Go to www.alztennessee.org or stop by the office here in town to get your fabulous pair of socks and sock out ALZ. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to go back to the main stage. Tyler, I know you're hating that you don't have these fabulous socks, but take it away. I've been in the doghouse so doggone long But when I get a kiss I think there's something wrong So I'm leaving now Hey, I'm leaving now Well, I'm a long gone daddy I don't need you anyhow Well, I'm gonna do some riding on the midnight train Taking everything except my ball and chain Cause I'm leaving now Hey, I'm leaving now Well, I'm a long gone daddy I don't need you anyhow Shut your mouth until I blow my top All you do around just to chop your chop But I'm leaving now Hey, I'm leaving now Well, I'm a long gone daddy I don't need you anyhow Operations Center, we rely on E-plus broadband fiber network to better serve Madison County. With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, fiber internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. So, 
I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. With e Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports, wherever and whenever you want on any Internet-connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for e Broadband's TV Everywhere. Welcome back to Six in the City. Cherie Parker is here with us with Lifeline Blood Services because they have an event going on now and you could win something big. That's right. We've got, um, once again, Bob Beasley with Bob's House of Honda. They came to our rescue. Uh, they knew that we needed something uh, to just encourage people to give blood during the holiday season. And so, you know, they said, well, hunting, uh, people hunt during the holiday season. And so why don't we give another Polaris Ranger 500? So everybody who gives blood during November and December, they can register to win a Polaris Ranger 500. So that's what's going on um, in November and December. We've got some other stuff later on in the year, but right now we just want to encourage everybody to. And this to come is out any any opportunity yeah. facility to That's give right. blood. Like if the blood uh, mobile is mm -hmm. in your area, whether it's Jackson or yeah, Huntington any or blood drive, or wherever. you know, all blood drives, <laughs> and uh, at our blood center at uh, on Sterling Farms Drive, Monday through Saturday, nine to six. And just um, want to remind everybody: if you've never given blood, you really should seriously consider it step up you know we came out of a, a long really challenging fall season for blood donations all across the country and we don't really know why uh, normally fall is a good time to collect blood people are right. just in their routine and it's no mm. problem there are no problems everybody was struggling so we don't know why people are not hearing them the message because as you know janet and i know uh, blood is needed every day Absolutely. it saves lives so it's, it, we know yeah people yes <laughs> We you know, do. Firsthand. Yes, we do. <laughs> and so there's still no substitutes. So I just want to encourage people, if you've never tried to give, to try to give this holiday season. You know, you can give. A lot. And for another another thing, too, Veterans Day is coming up next week. We've got, um, uh, in honor of cards, you know, come and give on that day in honor of veteran. You know, we have a little card we can give you to, to give to them. And just, um, you're going to save a life. Right now, there is no substitute. So uh, just a shout out to people that have never tried. And it is so easy, too. You guys yes. are wonderful out it there. It is really easy easy to give. And oh, another thing, I don't know that I've mentioned this before, but we'll mention it again today. Um, used to, um, if you had any kind of cancer, you could not donate blood ever. You were permanently deferred. So that knocked me out. And, but now there are, uh, there's some new rules now. If you've had cancer, some types of cancer, you're able to be reinstated if you've been cancer free for five years and your doctor approves it and our medical director approves it. So I'm oh, getting to wow. give blood again. So that's like awesome. After 10 years, I'll be able to donate and I'm going to be giving platelets and plasma. So, yes. uh, Lord willing when they make my appointment. So well, that's um, a great opportunity. It opens the doors yeah. for more mm -hmm. donors so that, that you, didn't yeah. think they could that's ever right. give again. Yeah. So, so if you do, if you are a cancer survivor and you've been cancer-free for five years, and um, there's some cancers where you couldn't do that, right. uh, like a leukemia and, and blood cancers, that kind of thing. But if you have a question about it, call us. We'll be glad to talk to you, 427-4431, and uh, just we'll be glad to talk to you about it. Maybe you can then give you can a gift. Talk to your talk to your doctor yeah. about mm -hmm. it as, as that's well. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exciting. That Happy is exciting. News, yeah. So, and if people want to know um, where the blood mobile is going to mm -hmm. be at, they can go online to lifelinebloodserve.org. That's right. Sure can. And, and there's a little a section. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, we're just out um, 19 hospitals, um, nine air evac um, hospital helicopter units now carrying our blood products, which wow. means they're carrying your blood products. And I don't think people realize just how many locations yeah. and how many people use yeah. the blood products. We, yeah, every every week we uh, our goal is 500 units, um, blood and, and, you know, that means the whole blood, platelets, plasma, red cells, that kind of thing. So, Everything. Yeah, so it's just, just 
And one way you can help, unique way that you can help if you're able, uh, and we know not everybody's able to give, right. but those who can only like five to 10% do. So there's those folks that have never tried. So I just challenge you, we've got lots of high school kids that'll really be enthusiastic and they even give. Of course, they can get out of class and then they realize it's so easy that, hey, uh-huh. they'll give again and again. So if 17-year-old kids can do it, <laughs> I think maybe you could Any, do like just, you know, you know get your little it. courage up and yeah. try, you know. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's there when the holidays come Speaking around. Speaking of schools, how did the Battle of the Colleges go? Oh, it was great. We presented the trophy again two times in a row, Jackson State. Good one. for Jackson but State. The, they, they increased the total number of units and um, all, all across the board, and everybody was very, very, very excited about that. Well, so that's it worked wonderful. well. Cherie Parker with Lifeline Blood Services here. She wants you to get out and donate blood. You can come to the Blood Center anytime, Monday through Saturday. Yes, 9 to 6. 9 to 6. Mm-hmm. They have different uh, newer hours now. Or you can go online to lifelinebloodserve.org and find out where the blood mobile is going to be if you're not in the Jackson area. And anybody that gives blood between November November and December. Yeah, all of November through December 31st. Gets an opportunity yep. to win a 2020 Polaris Ranger 500 from Bob's House of Honda. Yes. So. What a, so what a great might be, might be you. Be it great could be, Christmas could be. gift. Cherie, you know. thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Thanks guys. for all you do at Lifeline well, Blood Services. We appreciate everybody um, helping others, and we're just glad to, to share the need. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back. We're going to talk to Regina Smith more about Alzheimer's coming up. Hey there, E-plus broadband customer. Want fast internet and Wi-Fi to power all those streaming devices everywhere in your home? You got it. TV that fits your family? You got it. Reliable home phone with the security of 911 emergency location? You got it. That's right. With internet, TV, and phone from E Plus Broadband, you've got it all from one local company that cares. Call today for gig internet for less than $57 per month when you bundle TV and phone. The process is called lining. Instead of replacing sewer pipe, you line it. The lining seals the pipe, covering any leakage points. This recent lining of the 54-inch river interceptor line cost over $900,000. But that's much less expensive than replacement, and it extended the life of the key line that transfers sewage from several lines to the wastewater treatment plant on Miller Drive. Protecting community health and doing it efficiently is all a part of JEA Today. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, in any way you can imagine. in the city. Regina Smith is here and in honor of National Alzheimer's Awareness Month for November we have some Alzheimer's information. We've got a great mini conference coming up and then we're going to talk about the new Alzheimer's Resource Center. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes, We're so excited about what's going on well, in our community. Well it sounds like great things are about to ha- happening or about to happen. So yes. tell us about this mini conference. What's going on? The mini conference is coming up this Thursday night the 7th. As we're watching the show today on Tuesday, it's That's this right. Thursday night. It is. Do, it we, is. do people need tickets for this? We would like for them to call for reservations because okay. we are going to offer a, a snack supper. Okay. Uh, so the number to call is 541-8757. The conference okay. is at the hospital, the first floor conference area. Uh, we have a couple of wonderful speakers. Dr. Michael Anton, who is with West NC Neuroscience and Spine, will be with us offering some wonderful advice about the disease. We need to know more about this disease as, as uh, our family members are, uh, are told they have the disease. They need to know how we can help, what we need to do next. So he will be there to offer that information. And then our special guest will be Mrs. Virginia Conger whose husband was uh, our mayor at one time right. and whose grandson is now right. our mayor, right. Mayor Conger's grandmother, Miss Virginia, will be with us talking about caregiving and what she experienced and what she can share 
uh, with those caregivers who will be joining us. So she basically gives the first hand. She talk tells it of, like it is. Because she, she, she does was not caring sugarcoat. for her husband when he was she going did. through Alzheimer's. She cared for Mayor Conger when he suffered with Alzheimer's disease before his death. And she's a wonderful speaker. Now, what uh, time does the conference start? Starts Regina? at 530. 530. Supper will be at 5. Okay. And then we will uh, begin at 530. We'll have you out by 7. Oh, wow. Uh, so not a long night. I know it's hard when you have uh, family members at home right. with Alzheimer's disease to be gone for a very long time. But this is this is important to, it is. to those. And who all, who's your target? I mean, I know, obviously, you want people to, the caregivers of those with Alzheimer's. Caregivers, those who have been just uh, diagnosed uh, within the last year or so, that, that's good information for them if they would like to gather that information as well as their family members. And also professional caregivers, so they just want some more information about the disease and about caregiving. All right, that's the 2019 Alzheimer's Mini Conference. We're shifting gears, preparing for the road ahead. Thursday, November 7th, the 7th, that's this week, starts at 5.30. It's at Jackson Madison County General Hospital in the J. Walter Barnes Conference Center. Now... Big news. Big news. Yes. What, Big news. What is the Alzheimer's Resource Center? We have received a grant from the Pat Summit Foundation. We all know or knew Miss Pat Summit when she was at UT. We received a grant from their foundation uh, to have this Alzheimer's Resource Center. So it's located inside the Senior Services Department for West Tennessee Healthcare. Okay. And our brand new location is 805 North Parkway. Okay. Some people say, where is that? It's right <laughs> beside Rafferty's. Right beside, well, that's a perfect landmark. Uh, it, it was perfect in the old landmark. Kirkland corporate building. Oh, yeah. Right okay. beside Rafferty's. Right, right, so right. you can come and see us, and then we'll go across and have lunch and at have Rafferty's. Lunch. It's the best thing. But we, uh, we just want to provide information. When you receive that diagnosis, you're usually in shock. Right. You, you don't know where to turn, what to do. So we are just there to give you information on what you might do uh, in the days ahead. Uh, to prepare yourselves for your family for what you're going to face with Alzheimer's disease. Well, what a great service to have right here in our we are community excited. because, you know, Alzheimer's is is a terrible, debilitating disease that that is, you know, they're not finding a cure for it. And so, with with all of the um, research that they've been doing and all of this education, it's just making it. I don't want to say a little easier, but to get a better understanding mm -hmm. of it, to, to be we able to We have to be ready to support our community, right. our, our, our members right here in, in Jackson and West Tennessee, and that's what we're trying to do. We've got some more things up our sleeve that we're going to be able to announce, hopefully after the first of the year, but we're really excited about this resource center. We think it's something that we've really needed for a long time. Now, do appointments need to be made? It's to... best if you call that same number, 541-8757. Okay. Uh, and we'll know you're coming and have some things ready for you. Absolutely. We're also uh, glad to mail out some information uh, if you can't make it into the office. Okay. All right. Well, that thank sounds you. wonderful. Regina, thank you so much for being here. Don't miss the 2019 Alzheimer's Mini Conference Thursday this week, November the 7th at 5.30 p.m. There'll be a light snack beginning at 5, and it is at the J. Walter Barnes Conference Center there at Jackson Madison County General Hospital. And then if you get a chance, stop by and see the guys at the Alzheimer's Resource Center there on North Parkway right. next to Rafferty's. Thank you so much thank for being for here. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. We're going to go to the main stage with Tyler Goodson. Well, I might take a plane, might 
take a train If I have to walk Well, I'm going to sing Kansas City In Kansas City Here I come the American spirit? It's right here in the people of West Tennessee. Every day, people walk through these doors to selflessly help others, to give without expecting anything in return. So where is the American spirit? It's right here in the people of Lifeline, our community's blood bank, where we all come together to help each other and the American spirit thrives. Ask what you can do for your country. JA's Customer Center on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive now has a drive through payment kiosk. No more getting out of the car, waiting in teller lines to pay your utility bill. The separate entrance allows for easy access, and the covered kiosk and step-by-step -step screen prompts guide you through the payment process. Cash, check, credit, or debit card. Credit to your account is immediate. A printed confirmation receipt is provided. Another step in service to customers, all a part of JA Today. Tune to the Travel Channel. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Set up one pass for the Warriors. Catch all the action with the power of voice control. Welcome back to Six in the City. We have Tony Black with us. He is here because he is representing Omega Sci-Fi Incorporated Theta Iota Chapter, and they are about to have their 75th anniversary gala affair. Good, good to have us here. We're so wonderful, thankful to you all for giving us this opportunity to share with you what we call the greatest fraternity the on greatest the planet fraternity. Earth. That's what it is. And nobody's here to, Omega to tell you Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity different. Incorporated, and we are the Theta Iota Chapter. That's our graduate chapter. We've been here now 75 years. Oh, and, wow. And we've got a great, great list of activities that we're planning that's going to lead up to our banquet, and I want to share all that information with you and our founders today. Uh, we're starting next week with Veterans Day. There, were, there are many great, great Omega men who are veterans, and there are right. some in our chapter, and there are many, many, many across the country, and in past history we have many. One of the greatest Omega men who were a part of the veterans affiliation is a man by the name of Colonel Charles Young. He was a World War I hero, and he is the second Spin Guard Award winner from the NAACP, that wow. national award. He was the second. The second. The first was one of our founders. Oh, wow. Dr. Ev Ernest Everett Jest, Just, who was the advisor for the three young men on campus at Howard when the fraternity started. And he was the first 
spin guard award winner. But on Veterans Day, we're going to, you know, recognize our veterans. They're going to probably, but some of them will participate in the Veterans Day Parade. Right. And then the rest of the week on that Tuesday and that Wednesday, on Tuesday, November the 12th, at 7 o'clock, we're having a revival, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday night, Cues for Christ. Cues and it's going Christ. to be at Lane Tabernacle CME Church. And the speaker on Tuesday night, he's an Omega man, Brother Minister Edward Hearns. And he's okay. the pastor of the Friendly Church of God in Christ in McKenzie, McKenzie Tennessee. McKenzie, right. That's and our then, neighbors down yeah, in McKenzie. Yes. And then on Wednesday, uh, at the same location, Lane Tabernacle CME Church at 7 p.m., we're going to have Brother Minister John Paisley. And he's the minister of Blair's Chapel CME Church here in Jackson. So those two okay. nights, we're going to deal with the feeling the spiritual man and the spiritual human being. Get our spirits so, Field. Yeah, now, get our spirits filled. For people who don't know, where is the church located? Tell 112 me. Congress Street. 112 Congress Street, Conger right here in Jackson. Conger and Hale Street. All right, yes. and, that's, and that's, you said, was Monday and Tuesday Mo night? Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday Wednesday 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 night. Yeah, Monday's okay. Veterans Day and Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday night, night we, we have, have a revival. Our Christ, our cues for Christ revival. All right, what's next? And then on, on, on Thursday, you had the uh, spokesman here from Lifeline. We're going to be putting on a blood drive. Okay. It's the Charles Drew, our Drew blood drive, 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Lane College's campus right. at the Old Earl Grill Armor Hall on the campus of Lane. It's co-sponsored by Lifeline Blood Services. And, of course, she just mentioned if you give blood, That's you right. can put your you put name, your name in, in the, the drawing. For That's the, right. For the uh, Polaris is, Ranger 500. This from, blood drive is for anybody, not necessarily it, Lane College students or anybody. Omega Psi. It can and be anybody that And you'll get a free T-shirt. And it's the Charles R. Drew, another great Omega man. That's right. Who right. was very involved in the development of Blood Plaza. And also, he was instrumental in the development of the blood bank system. Oh, really? An Omega man. Wow. That is correct. Okay. And then on Friday, we're having what we call our reclamation. It's one of our mandated programs. What we try to do is reclaim those members that have are still Omega men, but we want them to not get as, back not involved. Not as active as yeah, they we should want, be. We, yeah. And we're going to do that on Friday night at All 7 right. o'clock just to get those Omega men back in at our fraternity All house. Right. We That's have Friday the 15th. The 15th, and that is located on Hayes Avenue. Hayes. Oh, doctor, doctor, remember... Uh, um, Dr. Melvin Wright's yes. old, old yeah, yeah. office is now right. our Omega House. Okay. And so we'll All have right. that event there. And then, and then Saturday. Saturday. Saturday's the big throwdown, right? Oh, the big throwdown. <laughs> That's our, our chapter, Theta Iota. It's the 75th anniversary, founded in 1944. 1944. Yes, that's the graduate chapter here in Jackson, and that's the chapter <laughs> that we're part of. We're having our 75th anniversary celebration and dance and it's going to be at the tr white sports place okay. the lower level starting at seven o'clock until 11 p.m the people we'll, need tickets for it Tony? we have tickets available if those who and uh okay. they can contact me and i can give you my number and we can make sure they get a ticket we've got only a few left uh -oh, better get your, better oh, get your big, tickets for yeah, the oh, event it's a big deal and we're and going then, to have a, a program and a speaker our speaker is brother minister ron tharp, ron tharp many of you yeah. know ron tharp right. who has a uh 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 State Farm, State Farm right? but he's also a minister, and he's the minister of the uh, Wortham Chapel Church in Alamo, Tennessee. And they're giving me the cue, so I know we got yeah. one more thing. Let's, yeah. let's, let's so get that one thing then, in there. Then, then Sunday, Sunday, Founders the Day, 3 p.m. 3 p.m., where at? Our, at, at? At the historic First Baptist Church. This is our Founders Day program. We'll found it November 17, 1911. Uh -huh. And so the speaker will be the Vincent Windrow, the pastor of Olive Church in Antioch, Tennessee. So we have a full, full week a full of, week going of, of on. Omega is activities. Is there a website people can go to to get all that covered? <laughs> Or they just need to call you. you just Tony call Black. me. I forget the. I, we got a website, but I can't remember. <laughs> right, the just website give Tony Black a call yes. to find out what's going on. And with my Omega number is two six seven. Two six seven. Three one five six. Three one five six. Yes, and any old Mega Man that you see. All right, that's right. Thank you, Tony, so Thank much you. for being Thank here. Thank you so much. We're gonna take it away. We're going to. Uh, we'll be back. I guess what I say. We'll be back with more. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. 
WJA's Fiber Network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Stop and think about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you to be a friend of your own heart. Jackson's first private utility was the Citizens Gas Light Company. The company organized June 28, 1871 to bring street lights to Jackson. The system used coal or coke burned in ovens to generate gas distributed through wood pipes to street lights ignited by lamplighters at dusk. From there, the service expanded to home lighting. We didn't know it then, but we were on the way to JEA today. Special thanks to all of our guests that have been on the show today. Don't forget, a lot of things that are going on this week as you're watching the show today. we got Ethan Bortnick. He's coming Friday, November the 8th at the NED. And then also we had... Um what else there was I know there was something else that was going on this week oh something else I wanted to, to get out there the leadership Jackson's impact glow run that was supposed to happen this Thursday night mm -hmm. is actually being postponed uh, the weather is not looking too good looks like it's gonna be like freezing cold raining and freezing cold rain turn into snow and sleet and that's just not good so not saying it's gonna slow snow or sleet but the race has been postponed until Tuesday, November the 12th, so mark your calendars for that when you can go online to raceroster.com. And then also, we're going to be carrying Union Basketball. Union Basketball starting Saturday, November 16th. Check our schedule at epluss.tv6.com and, and find out when Union will be playing And basketball. Tyler, you said you're going to be playing at uh, the Bistro the this, Bistro, this right. Saturday. And next Saturday. And next, next two weeks. Saturday for the next okay. two weeks. Yeah. And that's back in the back of, of Flatiron Grill. If you hadn't been there, you need to go because Tyler's pretty amazing. So, and we'll just let you take it away. All Thanks right. so much for being here, Tyler. We appreciate it. Thank you. This is my original song called Give Me Back to Jackson. Well, I've been a lot of places that made me feel all right. Nothing like the town I left last night. Now give me back to Jackson. I said, give me back to Jackson. Won't you give me back to Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee? Well, the music flows right out of the scene. I come on downtown, you hear what I mean. Now give me back to Jackson. I said, give me back to Jackson. Won't you give me back to Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee? Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee. 
Won't you give me back the tax, son? Won't you give me back 